I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. So today I'm trying to go for a different style of video, right? Like usually I do like short videos that are straight to the point, no time waste. But in this film, I want to try out a more like loose style of video where I don't stick to a script and basically take a look at a proly game, at a recent proly game, and just talk a bit about it and draw a bit on the screen. And uh, yeah, let's see how it works out. So this is uh, SSG vs Luminosity from Monday. Operator bands, fairly standard. I guess nowadays you could always could already call Thatcher a standard ban, but we don't see a Thatcher ban here. Well, we see the two default operator bands on defense, either Echo, Mira, or Maestro Mira. And of course we see Nomad banned against uh, Thinking Nate, who is playing that a lot. And it already kind of shows what LG is trying to do, right? Like they're trying to flank, they're trying to be aggressive, which makes a lot of sense to be the strategic team like SSG. And that's probably where LG is strong. So they're going kitchen first. Um, but seeing this actually makes me wonder, like, how was SSG planning on playing Nomad here anyways? Right, like you need Termite and Thatcher to breach walls. You need Sophia to like get rid of utility. Kind of need the IQ because of Echoes up. And then you can't also get rid of Buck, right? So I wonder if SST would have actually played Nomad here, even if they could have. But I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, interesting to see that both uh, walls here are reinforced, right? Like usually one of them is open. But it seems like recently teams have started reinforcing both of them, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Um, but apparently a lot of teams do that right now, which is interesting. Also, LG is also uh, holding the top floor a bit, which uh, punishes teams that don't clear the entire map. Right, because then they can use the holes in the floor to deny plants. And usually I'd say that SSG is one of the teams that would clear the entire map. But it kind of doesn't seem like it at the moment. Let's see how that turns out. No, they're not playing, they're not clearing the entire map. They're just taking bakery control, which I suppose is fine, especially since LG isn't contesting bakery at all. Um, but still, I would have said that SSG is m more like a team that would uh, clear the entire map. Where's Bandit right now? Uh, they they get that wall. They get both walls open very early, right? Like at 140. And usually, you want to Bandit trick that one, right? Especially because if teams are only taking bakery control and not top floor control, there's actually no way to deny the Bandit trick here. So. Wait, he's in pillars. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think Bandit should have been on site here to Bandit trick that and waste a bit more time. And now they really have a lot of time to deal with everything they want to. And it's, and it's also a nice setup, right? Like you've got flanks under control, you've got uh, prep flank under control, and then you have three uh, focus on site. And now it all comes down to like them getting rid of the echo drones and to make sure that they don't dive through the holes in the floor above. Okay, got an AQ. Okay, Thermite proning into to, to get rid of the plant. Well, it looks like he got smoked off. Ooh. It's kind of rough, but it's not that big of a deal, right? I can just have someone else plant. And I hope Canadian is going to contest Mining Balcony right now. Because they can't, yeah. Right, because I kind of need that one right now. You need a player here in late game to pressure this to jump in, so the guy in train can't just spend his entire time looking down through the holes. So it's looking all right. I think if Bosco gets this kill here, like this, is looking fine. Okay, they're, looks like they're just rushing side. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Like against Echo and Smoke, you kind of don't want to plan anyways, right? Like there's no way you get that done. It's probably better to just go for kills on site. But then you have to win the gunfights, of course. <laughs> Which they don't. Uh, okay, that's winnable. Oh. That's actually winnable. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, if he got that pistol kill, I think it was winnable. Definitely. But yeah, it's just that they... I think it was the correct play to go for gunfights here, right? Like, I don't think you want to plant against, like, holes on the floor and against Echo and against Smoke. Probably just want to go for kills here. 
But then right, they just lost gunfights, which happens. Okay, next side is uh, reading, which is fairly standard. Kind of interesting to see that they're playing both Cade and Bandit, but then not Mozzie. Right, I think usually like Mute Mozzie is really strong on this side. And you would usually only play one uh, piece of wall denial. And like they basically have three, right? Like Mute, Cade, Bandit, they can deny all the walls. So that's interesting how that's going to be turning out. Because like usually you don't really breach that many walls on a on a reading attack. Okay, SSG is taking top floor control. It's pretty default at the moment. Oh, well, maybe they're playing a mining take here. Because like usually what you do is you take red stairs, top floor, top floor control. And then you use that to push towards cocktail side and take the entire top floor control. But there's obviously also a way to play uh, like a take where you only take shop and piano control and then you rotate into mining and pressure side from that way, which yeah, kind of looks kind of looks like they're doing it right now. I mean, the key here is to make sure that you can't be flanked from bottom red stairs. And like at the moment, they only have a claymore there. Wonder if that's going to. Oh, so it looks like LG is trying to retake this now. I don't know if I agree with that because like there's 100% yeah like they are watching. They are 100% watching this uh, from above. And well, okay, that was good. They decided to do, to get they decided against doing that. That was pretty smart. Because like what you need to do here, right? Like for this take to work, you need one guy top floor. To make sure that you can't be flanked through top red or like shop hatch or piano hatch and then you also need a guy like to watch uh, bottom red stairs and at the moment lg doesn't need a play right like sure it's 4v5 but like this is this is still defender side i'd say Look, those, are, those are pretty good holes right because then it makes it so LG can't contest uh, fireplace from my inside reading. And there's a to there's a basement flank from Valkyrie. Wait, they've got a lot of freedom here, like SSG. I think this is SSG win. Okay, that was kind of lucky. But yeah, again, they kind of go for kills again. That's kind of interesting. But I think it's probably again the correct decision, right? They don't, I think they don't know that Echo isn't even on the board. So, makes sense that they're not, that they're not going for a plant. But again, like, losing gunfights, I suppose, at the end. Which just happens, right? Like, there's, there's no deep analysis you can make here. It's just, like, losing gunfights at the end. But I like the take. Uh, always like to see, like, uh, non-default stuff on Cafe. They're also they're playing Bandit for three rounds in a row now, which is uh, typically not that common. But this looks like a default hold. It's interesting is that like both walls are reinforced here, right? Like usually on a cocktail hold, you would only want to have one wall reinforced. On a reading hold, you want to have two reinforced, but on a cocktail hold, you only want one reinforced because this allows you to like... Wait a second. Because this allows you to like crouch through here, like get to this position, and then shoot all the way through here and pressure people here, and that's usually a very strong play. But of course, it also works both ways, right? Like if if the if the attackers are going for kills again, they might use that hole to to sneak through and kill you. Yeah, let's jump ahead a bit. Looks like SSG is just taking default top control. Oh. What happened here? Looks like bottom red stairs, I suppose. Maybe sh shooting up through the hatch. And it kind of sucks, right? Because I was Thatcher. That's going to be a big problem. I guess they can, they can still, they can still breach. Freezer, uh, 
So I guess it won't be that big of a problem. Yeah, because like, there's no point in having Bandit on these walls, but I guess uh, if you have the utility anyways, just might, might as well use it. Okay, so this is pretty good, like using both flashes and then like a Zafia stun immediate as Zafia explosive immediately to get rid of the shield. It's pretty efficient. And that's basically all Cafe comes down to, right? Like how efficient are you with uh, clearing things like this, like the shield in the corner? And that's one of SSD's strengths, right? Okay, so now they can breach uh, Freezer. This is an A to deny possible K trick. And this is basically here the like the most difficult part of cafe, right? Like you get the wall open to freezer, that's it can always do that. But what now, right? Like now it's difficult to play. Because they still have echo drones to deal with. Okay, this is a nice play, right? Like to focus on the bathroom player and uh, box him in into that room. <laughs> nice. But yeah, like now you need to win gunfights again. And the defenders just have so many good trades here, like the, uh, this whole freezer stack area, like the wood stack area. Like there are so many good trades you can have here. Yeah, and then the late game flank red stairs. Huh, kind of interesting, right? Like they... LG is basically always winning in the gunfights in like the late game situation. And SSG never really tries to go for a plant, which I think is fine, right? Like, because don't want to deal with Echo Drones that much. But it certainly seems like LG is winning the important gunfights right now. Okay, back to Kitchen then. Again, two walls reinforced here. Which I think is actually bad against teams that only take... Uh, only take Bakery. Right, because like if they only take bakery, they don't have enough resources to also take closet, and then you can use closet to have another angle onto the side. I think I guess the main thing here for me would be to have uh, bandit inside bakery now. Okay, again they don't hold bakery itself. Some might breaches prep. Again, pretty much the same. Oh no, <laughs> Bandit is again in pillars. Yeah, I think Bandit should be here. Like, I don't, I, I don't see a reason why Bandit shouldn't be here, tricking the wall. Nice roam. All four, ba all four batteries here. Not, not even drawing one of Thatcher. Yeah. Well, I guess it's fine if he gets two kills or something like that. <laughs> but really, like on a the on a normal kitchen attack. Like, you have way less time than this, and way less utility, right? Like, they should have, like, probably two EMPs left, maybe three even, even three even. So this is looking pretty good, I'd say. Okay, <clears throat> so again... It's just... Oh, this is actually a... This is a very important kill here, right? As a, and here the thing is, like as a defender, you it's very important that you don't try to peek out that far, right? Like it's fine to play these holes until here, right? Like, but you can't peek further than that because then you get wrecked by eight cocks. And this is really important, right? And now it's it's important for SSG to go fast, right? They really need to go fast here and to make sure they get into the site before someone can take Mozzie's position. That's, that's not really fast, but I guess they're lucky because uh, no one on LG is taking the position. Okay, winning more gunfights. This is a crucial, this is a pretty big gunfight. Looks like they are getting the diffuser down. I guess this time they managed to clear both Echo Drones and that's why they decided to go for a plant this time. Which makes a lot of sense again. Yeah, like at this time they they got the plant down. I guess this is uh, this probably comes down to clearing both echo drones. To be honest, like if you can clear both those, then it's fine to attack and fine to plant. But if you don't, it's kind of difficult to attack. Yeah, like this is unwinnable. 
doesn't even matter what happens here. Okay, another kitchen one. This time smoke gone and warm I picked. Okay, but then, then please banner trick this, right? Like, if you're even playing uh, Jaeger and Wamai to waste utility, then like please banner trick this. Again, two walls. Again, the shield. Looks like pretty much exactly the same strat. Or maybe SSG is actually clearing. Probably not, right? Because if IQ is already in bakery, they're probably not clearing the entire map. Okay, this time Bennett is at the wall. That's that looks pretty good. And Buck's ready to like pressure um, mining and train from above in the late game. That's also a pretty good way to to deal with the holes in the floor. I want to see how how SSG is dealing with the banner trick here now. Yeah, I like that change a lot though, like trying to banner trick this. Okay. Uh, they probably got rid of it from above somehow. That's the only way this could uh, be removed. Yeah, if Sophia is here, it has to be. Huh. I want this was probably bug from above, like with a hole, maybe through both of the floors. Otherwise, I don't see a reason why Bennett wasn't able to trick that. But yeah, that's a, that's a strong thing about SSG, right? Like they know how to deal with the Bennett trick here. Yeah, I assume it was a there's a hole above Bennett right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back a second. Yeah, you see this hole? Like I I'd assume like Buck was repelling upside down here, and he opened like this hole, and this allows you to like throw nades through or like to pressure this a bit. And I assume this is what what scared Bandit off. And now it's again the same situation, right? Like if you get both of the echo drones here, you can plant. If you don't, you probably want to go for kills again. Is that an echo drone or Wamai? I think Wamai. Okay, SSG is getting a lot of kills here, that's really strong. Yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, like this time it was just SSG coming out ahead in the gunfights at the late game. Like, it, this entire game is... Oh, wait, so let me see that. That entire game is like pretty decided on gunfights right now. Okay, and reading again. Um, I think it, I think that makes a lot of sense, right? I think I think reading is a better bomb site than cocktail. I actually actually also kind of don't like kitchen to be honest, but I think I think reading is the best bomb site here. Like there's so many C4 kills you can get here, like because the, the entire floor is soft. It's so awkward for the attackers to like go walk all the way through bar and then fight these gunfights on like this side and the top side. Like that's. It's, it's just you just hate that as an attacker, and then you're constantly being pulsed while you're walking up there. That just sucks. Okay, now I'm interested to see if uh, SSG is going for this mining take again, or if they're trying to clear the entire cocktail site this time. Looks like they're going for the mining for the mining take again. Oh, actually, never mind. Now there's four guys top again. Yeah, this looks like top floor killer this time. I wonder if this is like an effect of the Nomad ban, right? Like maybe he can only make these plays because Nomad because they banned Nomad. Maybe otherwise he wouldn't be able to make those. Not sure about that because like we didn't actually see both the kills, but that might be something. And like yeah, like kind of kind of naive to just throw an A there, right? Like there's no way there's not going to be an ADS or one my thing. No, oh, but that was pretty good, right? Like, let's go back a second. Like, 
using like throwing a lot of uh, flashbangs, and then one I can't uh, can't catch the nade in time. Yeah, like and SS, this is one of the strengths of SSG again, right? Like they're really strong at this sort of thing, where they where they have to coordinate. And I think this is a big part of why they actually won like the invitation, right? Because they are one of the teams that are really good at dealing with the 22nd matter, as Kickstar termed it. Yeah, got see four kills. Like that just happens like at least once a game, at least once around on this side. You got see four kills. And like, what is this? Two v two. And yeah, this is all about kills again, right? It's very good for very good from Valk and Pulse to be stacked here, right? Like you don't want to be very far apart from each other. Yeah, diffusers down. This is winnable, right? But it's yeah. Yeah, this was another round that was just like now. This time it was actually like a, a lot smarter round, a lot smarter of a round, right? As she was making some nice plays with uh, using the flashbangs to uh, get rid of the ADS and then to nade, but then they lost the player on uh, on a C4 kill, which evened it out again. And this is a two-four split, which I think is like fine, right? Cafe is just like really defender-sided, so SSG doesn't feel bad going. Uh, to a 4-2 here, or like 2-4. I wonder if they are reinforcing both walls too? They are, interesting. Yeah, not sure if I like that, but uh, I'll have to see it for a few more games too, to really have a strong opinion on that wall. And they are not even banner tricking at all. That's interesting, because I'd say that LG is one of the teams that would prefer a bakery only take. And LG is also one of the teams that might not have an idea of how to get rid of the banner trick here. Um, so I'd probably banner trick this here, but uh, let's see how it's going to take, going to turn out. Okay, so they're also like having pressure on the balcony to already make sure that they can't use these uh, holes in the floor in the late game. Okay. I wonder, so they're droning, right? But I wonder what they're droning. Like, like, what are they trying to do with that information? They're not. They're not going to rush in and clear that because they don't have top floor control. And and look at the timing, right? Like at this time, SSG already had both walls open. It looks like LG is about 10 seconds, 15 seconds slower, right? Like. If, I think you could banner trick this here. I think banner is a better pick than mute here. And now it's the same story again, right? Like, can. Oh, wait. SSG is not playing Echo. It's kind of interesting, right? I think like, Echo is really, really strong here. Like, a lot of information on site, plant denial. Echo is really, really strong here. But if there's no Echo, right, then it only comes down to LG not dying. For through the holes above. And there are the holes above. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then you have like Buck going top floor, right? That makes sense, because then he can put pressure on the people in train and mining. But SSG also knows about it, and so they have like another player top floor to deny Buck here. And like sure he wins a gunfight, right? But don't think that really matters. Now everyone's looking just for picks. Just need to get some more kills here in order to win this as LG. And yeah. There are no kills to get from SSG here. And again we see the same side rotation, like reading and then uh kitchen first, then reading. Looks like both teams have the same idea of uh how to attack this and how to defend this the best. They lost too many bodies upstairs, and then when it came to the actual site attack, they really didn't have much to work with. It'll be reading. And here SSG is playing uh, Mute Mozzie, right? Like that's what I said that uh, LG wasn't playing. Mm. And they're also playing the castle. I think 
like mute mossy castle like, throw in a vigil too that's basically the ssg comp every time no matter what they're doing but it looks pretty similar right like they are they also have wall denial they're denying this wall it's just that lg used uh, bandit kate for that and they're also denying this wall with mute jammers and then castle barricades to make sure that you can play in co inside cocktail for as long as possible But yeah, like that's that's pretty default, I'd say. Let's jump ahead a bit. Okay, and we got red stairs control. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to go for a clear here. The real question is how they're trying to go for it. Right, like they they don't have uh hibana here i think you i think hibana is a bit better here like it, sorry if uh kitchen is locked i think you want to play hibana because then you can easily open like this this or like one of the freezer walls right like one, oh, one of these walls over there which i can't do right now with thermite because then you would just get c4 but this is this is a really good play right like at this point in time you have some you have some guy outside white window putting on pressure on white itself means no defender can play inside white and this allows attackers to push up white hall and then again it's just it just comes down to gun oh, where, where, where are you going <laughs> interesting okay maybe he had, had, had like a call or something but yeah it looks, looks good from lg to be honest okay unlucky but this is probably better than expected 3v3 with uh, one minute left that's definitely win winnable and this is the hardest part of this attack right taking this 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 part of the map that's definitely the hardest part of the map. I think now the idea would be to um, use... Okay, Buck is dead, I guess, but Sophia can do some kind of vertical play, especially since there are a lot of holes already. You want to make sure that defenders cannot play in reading right now, and then you want to play a uh, pillar plant. Let's see how LG is uh, trying to execute that. Okay. So bomb is in pillars. That's, that's pretty good. You just need to make sure that no one is in reading and in janitor right now. And then you can plant. This is not where Sophia wants to be. I think she wants to be like on the holes here, denying this. Yeah, I, yeah you need to deny like reading and uh, janitor, otherwise you can't go for this. Okay, and now the problem is, it's, sure it's a 2v2, but both are on the bottom floor. That was a very important kill. That might have won them the ground. Whew. Wow, that was actually pretty good from Hyena. Okay, they're running it back basically. Looks like the same thing again. Yeah, same walls. Is that same operators? Wasn't there a pulse last round? Yeah, there might have been a pulse last round. And there was no castle. Or like, there was a castle, there's no castle now. Okay, let's jump ahead a bit. Nothing interesting here. Yeah, basically, look, looks like pretty much exactly the same take. Right? Like, they take piano, they open these holes. And then I tried to go for some kind of push on uh, on the cocktail players. Okay, they know about Mozzy, who's like trying to go for C4 here. But I'm not sure if they can actually capitalize on that information. Because you can't really... You don't have enough time to also hunt Mozzy here. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the same play again, where like... Thatcher goes outside either white or outside cocktail to pressure from there. Oh, and now they actually... Well, let's go back a second. Now they actually picked Hibana, so they can uh, open this. Just need to Thatcher it because there's a mute jammer. And this is also a pretty strong way of dealing with this uh, cocktail hold, I think. Yeah, because now mute gets forced off. And they drop. Okay. That's again probably the SSG special, where you just uh, drop. 
as soon as uh, things get kind of difficult. But this means that LG has top floor control in a 5v5, well, which basically never happens. And now they have Buck alive, so they might be able to like use the vertical play a bit better here. And if they can, that's looking pretty good for LG right now. Oh, another frag. Where does it happen? Do they still not know that Cocktail is clear? Kind of weird movement by Hibana there. But yeah, again, same idea, like you need to get the guys out of reading and out of janitor, and then you can play a pillar plant. Hmm. I think, like, I think usually you, you would want to say that this peak wasn't smart. But I think it's kind of fine, right? Like, uh, you're in a 3v4 and I'm assuming Buck is opening the floor right now. As a defender, you feel kind of pressured right here and you kind of want to go for gunfights here. So this is probably fine. Wait, how does this get to a 2v2? Oh, okay, like may, again, made an aggressive play like outside here, which matches what Mute was trying to do earlier, right? Like making aggressive plays in, yeah, making aggressive plays in like when you're down a few man, and that's why they uh, were able to deny that the future outside pillar. So even though Mute died, right, they were able to make something happen on the other side of the map. And now Kitchen is back up again. Are they going to play Doc instead of Echo here? <laughs> I don't like that. I think Echo is way too good to not play Echo here. Especially because I think LG wasn't playing IQ last round either, right? I think they know that uh, LG is not playing IQ here. So you should definitely play Echo here. And now maybe there's only one wall open? This looks like a kind of a closet hold. I think SSG is like adapting way better to what LG was showing before than LG was adapting to SSG. Because right, again, if, if LG is again only playing a bakery take, then you really want only one wall reinforced in that area. Yeah, like what you want to do is like you have, want to have a player here, you can Pressure the breach, you can late game rotate into here. Uh, I, don't think this is necessarily I really like that here. Hangover from space station, as a lot of people in traditional sports would call it. I think both of these And looks like SSG is not going for top clear again. So they're only taking today, where I think what ended up happening with bakery control. But there's no banner trick again. I, I would I'd like to see a banner trick here. Okay, so this is basically just like hunting for frags, right? Like you open like a, an angle, just hope for frags. Because this is how the attackers usually win, right? Like you need to get some kills somewhere. And this makes your life a whole, a whole lot easier. Okay, they're also pressuring the dining side right here. That's kind of interesting, usually doesn't happen that often. The problem is that like if you're, you're pressuring dining, right? But once you got dining, it's actually kind of hard to play in there because you don't have control of brown stairs, you don't have control of white stairs. It's actually kind of not that nice to play. But what it allows you to do is it allows you to pressure closet, right? So maybe this is a reaction to SSG playing inside the closet with the with the wall open because you kind of need to put on pressure from this window so that dog can't play, can't just focus on on the breach entirely. It looks like they're rotating back. I guess the thing is, like, if you have two guys on the dining side, there's no way you can have another player on mining balcony to pressure. I guess there's still... Actually, there's no SSD player in mining or train right now, but there should be holes above this above this bridge and above prep. But it looks like SSG isn't actually playing that right now. I wonder why that is. Because this allows 
Yeah, this, there are no holes here actually. That's kind of interesting. It allows LG to basically walk up prep here, which they shouldn't be able to right now. Oh, they don't have any utility left. <laughs> That's unlucky. Oh, never mind. Okay, but now there's a hole. Okay, that's pretty good, right? Because like, and now this is basically already won, right? Like there's nothing you can do right now. Is he actually going to get to? No, okay, good. Right, like, can't you can't go for plant here. You have to go for kills here. There's no way you actually get that plant down. Yeah, I think this round came down to Canadian, like, late C4-ing that hole open. Because, like, maybe LG didn't send a player mining balcony because they just didn't see any holes, right? And this made them, like, feel secure only for Canadian to rotate into it late game and then open it. So that was probably a really smart play, play by Canadian here, which I think won them the round here. Okay, cocktail again. Wama my Jaeger combo. That seems really strong, right? Like, obviously, I haven't seen any like scrims or so, so this is the first time I'm seeing Wama too. But like the Wama my Jaeger combo, like, seems really, really strong. Like, if you pair it and also with Goyo and like put some shields over all the oh, all over the place, that looks really strong. Let's see what exactly they're setting up here, right? Like one shield here, another shield here. And probably one shield inside here, maybe because while my also has like a normal shield, right? Like that's pretty huge. And Echo also has a shield, and Smoke also has a shield. They've got like six shields right here. That's oh, that's such a pain to deal with. Like this gotta be, this gotta feel so bad for LG here. Like six shields, ADS, Wamai. Oh boy. Yeah, there's one shield here. There's going to be one shield here too. Eventually. Let's see how LG is doing that. Like, my bad would be that they don't deal with that. Okay, that's kind of good. They're they are using IQ and Thatcher to find the ADS. But the problem is, if they don't hurry up, Wamai just gets another one, and like another one of his magnets, and then he can just, like, re-throw that one, and then they haven't actually gained that much. Like sure you can get rid of the rid of the ADS, but at the moment that's not the only way to stop uh, nades. I think this would this would have been really good if they like synced it with uh, Sophia or Buck. But I don't think they did that here. Okay. Yeah now they still have to use flashbangs, but apparently there are no ADS or like no no magnets left, so this could be open to breach a few shields. Okay, both of these shields are still up, and okay, now she got one of the shields, and there's only like one minute fifteen left. That's already looking uh, a bit rough for LG here. They don't have piano control. And yeah, look, <laughs> look at the amount of shields that there are. Like that's crazy. And again, now it just comes down to like finding a pick somewhere. And this time, SSG is also playing Echo. And looks like they don't have their flank under control. Was that Jaeger? Yeah, that was Jaeger flanking up red. So I guess the Nomad ban is also working uh, in favor of SSG because then this allows them to flank too. Like, yeah, look, there's still a shield here, there's still a shield in Freezer. Like, this is just really difficult to win. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Like, this is just a really good example of why Cafe is so defender side, right? Like, there are so many good positions for shields, and there's no way for the attackers to get rid of that, really. But I like the like I like the the core idea where they use like IQ and Thatcher to deal with ADS Wamais from above, but they should have like comboed it with Sophia or Buck throwing nades, because in the end it didn't seem like they got a lot of uh, shields destroyed. Which again, like if you're using EMP and IQs to get rid of the ADS and you don't get the shields away, like what was even the point of the sub in the first place? 
Okay, so last round and on the strongest site on the map, in my opinion at least. Looks like this is... Again, they don't bring the castle anymore and they do have a pulse right now. I think that's... I think that's the best lineup. I would maybe, like, remove smoke and play Mozzie here, because Mozzie mute is really strong on all of the doorways here. But other than that, I think this is basically the, the optimal lineup. Velcam's throwing around. But LG was also, like, honestly pretty good at clearing this. Right, like in the first round they had the Thatcher outside white, which allowed them to push down Whitehall. In the second round, they just like put so much pressure on SSG that they decided to drop in A5v5. So LG is actually somewhat good at uh, dealing with that. Oh, they're going for this again, where they try to like find uh, ADS and deny them with Thatcher IQ. And now it actually works, right, because they don't run one my. Now it's actually really good what they're doing. Let's see how this works out in the end. Do they have... Oh, they, they don't have piano control at this stage in the game. Right, like... I think it's fine to use, like, the IQ Thatcher combo to get rid of ADS, but at the same time, your team still needs to take map control. I think this might be really difficult for them to deal with because they don't have piano control at the moment. Now they're dropping red with, like, one minute left. Oh, do they know about that? Jaeger and Piano? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, this is this is lost. This is already lost. Yeah, now Rampy got a kill here in Piano. But there are no ADS, right? Like that's like you can easily throw one of these nades. Like that's, I like that. I like that approach a lot where you use uh, EMP and IQ. But now Rampy just wins this round because they didn't draw him. Yep. Right, because like. Again, like I said, you need to take map control while you're doing like the funny stuff with uh, IQ and Thatcher. Still need to take map control. <laughs> Can't just forget about that. Like, yeah, but like, he had a few kills. Like this, just stat padding. Like there's no way you can actually win this. Actually, let's see that. Yeah, there's no way to win this. I think this was kind of an interesting game where. Um, it came down to a lot of gunfights in the last 20 seconds, and I think this is kind of indicative of the 20 seconds me meta that like, Kickster was talking about for this whole week, basically. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely what you have to do, kind of, right? Like, in these rounds where, like in these all of these kitchen rounds, where there was like still an echo drone up, like there's no point in trying to go for a plant here, right? Like SSG just needed to go for the kills here, and then they lost the gunfights. But uh, this is not indicative of like bad play, right? Like it's kind of it's smart to realize that you can't plant, right? Because if they're like echo and like smokes and all that stuff, you just can't plant, right? So you gotta go for the kills. And this is basically the game. So this was just me like talking for like 40 minutes right now, and I'm not sure if you guys like that, but I wanted to try that out because like it's also something that I can do like on stream. Right, and I think this would be kind of nice, where you would be able to like ask questions while I'm doing that, and then I can like interact with you guys. Um, so yeah, please let me know if you like that, and uh, I might make more of these videos in the future. Thanks for watching.